instead of shame, there will be double honor. Isaiah 61 and verse 7. Instead of your shame, you shall have double honor. And instead of confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess double. Everlasting joy shall be theirs. In Isaiah 61, uh, the prophet Isaiah foretells the power and the impact of the anointing of God. Isaiah 61 begins by those words, The Spirit of the Lord uh, is upon me, for God has anointed me to preach good news, and so on. And these are the very words that the Lord Jesus quoted in Luke, the fourth chapter, when he began his ministry. He just quoted from Isaiah 61 on what the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Spirit of God upon him, would do through his life and ministry as he served the people. And as you read on down in Isaiah 61, you come to verse 7, where it says, one of, where it teaches us one of the outcomes of this anointing, the work of the Holy Spirit is that instead of shame, we will have double honor. Think about that. That by the Holy Spirit, by the anointing of God's Holy Spirit, God will so touch our lives that where there was shame, God will give us double honor. He didn't say just honor. He said, I will give you double honor, meaning I'm going to put such honor on your life, there can be no measure of it. It will be so much more than the shame that you went through. So instead of shame, you will have double honor. Instead of all the confusion, you're going to be able to rejoice in your portion. Rejoice in what is yours. You will receive it. You will enjoy it. You will be happy. You will celebrate what God puts in your hands. And you possess double, meaning what was taken away. God will so bring it back in your life. He says you will possess double. I want us to have this confidence. You see, the Holy Spirit is still at work today. God's Holy Spirit is still upon you and me as His people. And His work has not changed. If He could do this under the Old Covenant or if this was declared under the Old Covenant, surely He will continue to do it under the New. God has not changed. The covenants may have changed, but God the Holy Spirit is still as powerful today as He was back in Bible times. And if He is the one who gives double honor for our shame, I believe He will do the same thing for you and me. So we need to ask Him, saying, Holy Spirit, I may have gone through some shame, some humiliation, some reproach, or some negative things in my life, but Lord, forgive me this double honor that your word says. Put this double honor in my life, and where there was confusion, God, help me to uh, really enjoy the portion of my blessing portion of what you have for me, what you put in my hands, and help me to possess double whatever is taken away from my life, Lord. Bring it back to me twice as much, because you are the God who can do these things. And as we pray, I want you to believe that God will do this. I'm going to believe that as I pray with you, the anointing of God's Holy Spirit will touch you. There is no distance. There is, uh, there is no distance. There is no d uh, difference in time, nothing. God supersedes all that. As I pray, I'm expecting the Holy Spirit to touch you. And let's expect this blessing to come into our lives. Let's pray. Father, even as your word says that because of the anointing, because of the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we will have double honor in place of our shame. We will rejoice in our portion instead of being in a state of confusion. And Lord, we will possess double in the land. And so I release the anointing of your spirit to everyone listening to cause this word to be fulfilled. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for doing this. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.